let's first glance this tank is faster oh yeah oh yeah on the move how about oh. Oh. on the move this is Papa Frank and welcome to another enlisted tank review video. Today we are going to review the T-3485 D5T Soviet tank that is available to be played in the Battle of Berlin campaign. Let's get to it. So this is the first tank that you'll be able to play as the allies in the Battle of Berlin campaign. First we are going to discuss stats, battlefield effectiveness, armor penetration values and tank strengths and weaknesses. And last but not the least, we're going to take this tank out for a spin and see how well we can do on the battlefield. I must state that in order to do this review, I upgraded the tank to its currently available max rank, which is rank 4, and I am judging the tank based on its potential, not its stock values. So first, stats. Compared to the premium M4A2 Sherman, because that's what, what we are going to uh, be comparing this tank against, uh, it would be useless to compare it to uh, the better version of the T-3485, so uh, let's get to it. So, bigger gun, better, uh, better turret rotation speed, slower reload time than the M4A2, but in terms of mobility, it has a uh, bigger max speed. It has a better engine power, which feels on the tank rotation. Well, you can feel it really well, actually, uh, when you're rotating the tank, because the M4A2 Sherman is uh, sluggish, whereas this tank is pretty mobile if you, if you try playing it at max rank especially. Now, while... This tank can only hold four crew members in comparison to uh, the M4A2, which I think is a downside. Don't forget that your allies can help you with this. So team members can get into your tank if you get down on crew members. If, especially if you have a friend playing with you, you can both handle the tank. Now, with that said, because this is enlisted and not War Thunder, I'm going to discuss uh, with you this, the squad upgrades that you will have to do in order to get the max out of this tank. So first I would advise you, head down the main path, get a squad size increase so you can put four crew members into the tank instead of three. The next thing that you want to do is level up your max rank for the tank and get those uh, discounts. After which, and only after then, should you go into the personnel upgrades. Why? Because you want to rush, you want to rush the tank upgrade ASAP to get to the level four, get those bonuses in, and you'll feel you'll feel like you're driving a totally different tank. All right, so. This is pretty much the stats, and let me just get into the battlefield effectiveness. So to do that, I'm going to switch over to War Thunder. All right, so we just jumped into War Thunder to take a quick look at some of the additional stats. Now, we are going to analyze armor, penetration values, and tank strengths and weaknesses. So to start out, what I want to discuss is what is this gun capable of? Let's see. What is the APHE shell doing? Now, it has 148 millimeters of pen at 10 meters, but the range at, we, at which you are going to be engaging tanks is going to be around 100 meters, which in this case is going pretty well for the Allies in Enlisted, especially in, especially in the Battle, uh, Battle uh, of uh, Berlin. And the reason is... This shell obliterates stuff. Now, I'm not going to go into detail of how this tank holds up in terms of armor, because it's pretty much paper armor when you're going up against, especially, especially uh, the Panther. But we are going to analyze the Panzer 4J pen values and the Panther A pen values. Uh, 
actually the protection analysis sorry so how does this tank hold up against our precious e3485 d5t so let's see pretty much across the entirety of the tank you'll see that 143 mils of pen punches through almost everything on this tank and uh, where are the spots that you want to shoot the Panzer for? It is going to be to take it out on one go. You want to aim at the middle of the upper glacis. Of the upper hull, actually. The upper glacis still does a ton of damage. But what you really want to do, what you really want to do is e either aim at the right right hand side which is going to guarantee you pretty much a uh, ammo rack <clears throat> or if you don't feel confident enough shoot wherever you want almost wherever you want on the turret the turret is going to be important to take out the gunner the loader the commander and um, make sure that the tank if it if it sees you it doesn't take you out now how does the t3485 hold up late progression late game because we are go you are going to go up against panther a against the panther g so let's see how does the protection analysis what does it tell us now pretty much across all the the uh the upper hull it almost tells you that you should even if i lower it to 100 meters you should try and avoid this area i mean yeah you might have a chance to go through but it won't do as much what you should do is immobilize the gunner because taking out the gunner or the loader and gunner if you get lucky will help you will help you uh win the fight against the panther now so long story short don't shoot here don't shoot here shoot around here the the right and the left cheek of the turret or just shoot the turret as well i mean if you get if you get to the side notice notice how on the side you have a bunch of ammo if you shoot the ammo and, and the ammo expl explodes it is going to be a one shot kill on the panther now this has been the battlefield effectiveness how the t-34 85 holds up against the enemy tanks but you've been all waiting for the gameplay so let's just head on into the gameplay and go from there okay so this is the theater 3485 fully upgraded rank 4 let's go what can we do well at first glance this tank is faster oh yeah oh yeah on the move how about oh. Oh. on the move boy. Oh. Oh. Yes. is that it is that it is that all you got Sneaky boy. He, the guys, those guys just turned in and they are coming. They are coming for the revenge kill on the tank. You guys think I don't know gamer psychology? <laughs> I was born that way, man. Feels like I want to eat me, but wait, no, because there's gonna be a tank pushing up. Oh, what did I tell you, man? I almost got jumped on. Oh, ammo wrecked. 
Am I wrecked, boy? Am I wrecked? All right. Is that it? No one else? Wait. Yeah, hey, start capping, boy. Start capping. You gotta do this. I'm trying to help you guys out. All right, the turret rotation on this tank is much better than on the M4A2 Premium Sherman. The Soviet Sherman. Sherman Madoodle. Sherman Madoodle. All right, there are, there are guys there. I just spotted them for you. I'm gonna move on. Ooh, ooh. I almost thought I'm gonna have my first showdown with uh, with the Panther, but no, that's just, just that's just a dead Panther. Bad dude, bad. Man. Five thank yous. I love that. Something is up. It's too... This is... This is too silent here. Oh. There we go. Oh, they are just spawning in. Take a... Take a tank shell, you know what? Just take it. What are you doing, man? What the hell, man? Oh! The guy just died to the fire, to the engine fire. Not bad, not bad. Right? Okay, let's uh, let's move up. Let's move up. There has to be another tank. Unfortunately, don't. Our team started capturing a control point. Okay, our team has started capturing the point. doesn't see oh what did i tell you what did i tell you wait there are two tanks oh yeah i like this all right two v one hey where's where did the tank go all right so someone's pushing across oh my god come on okay one guy down and there was another dude as well. Oh, oh, there's, there's my guy. There's my guy. There's my guy. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, titanium trees. Did I hit his engine? No, it ricocheted. Okay, dead. Now he went down. Damn. He tried to flank though. I gotta give it to that guy. Tried to flank. Smart play. Smart try, but... I mean, you're going up against Papa Frank. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, I mean... Try it another game. Wait. Wait. Uh, the one and only pop of tank. Okay. Sit still. Sit still. There's gonna be there's gonna be tanks spawning in soon. All right. So do we have an ally tank on the map? No, we don't. All right. Let me wait for my team to push up. They're already doing that. So that's. I I see tank movement. I see tank movement. Wait. 
Oh, that looks that looks so cool. Inside the fog. Oh no, that's not the turret. Oh, there's the turret. Ripple kill, kill, kill. Cool stuff. Now I need to get to the other side, and that doesn't mean me dying. It means that I need to get across. How do I do that? I never played this far in, in into this map as a tank. Oh, oh I can just go around. Alright. Let's just start out. Let's just check ourselves before we wreck ourselves. Okay. Oh oh oh! My spider senses went up. Another tank kill down. Ten tank kills. I mean... GG. We are denying them tanks. And that's what you need to do. Yeah, infantry support is cool, but if they don't have tanks... I mean... Hello? Oh no. Eleven tank kills. Confirmed. Alright. Now I need to uh, make sure that uh, guys do not push up to get the revenge kill because uh, that's a thing in this game, you know? So, uh, gotta make sure. Also, look at that sniper right there. Ha! <laughs> he thinks he's so clever. Um, hey. Hey. Hey! Oh no, I can't see. Did the tank spawn in? Anything? Oh, I seems clear. <gasps> He's spawning, fucking me. Oh, these guys need help with de destroying the covers. Oh, I see. All right, let me let me get at it. The issue with this is that I can't keep an eye on uh, on tank spawns. See, just like that. See that, 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 that's what I meant. I don't understand why the enemy is trying to look away from, from, from the bat battlefield. You see how they spawn in and they look towards the objective instead of looking towards, towards, uh, tanks? Which is weird because where they spawn in, I cannot spawn, spawn kill them. So I cannot spawn camp. So they could easily just go around and wreck me. Get the key clean side shot on me. Okay, so this guy is clearly coming for the reven revenge kill. Let's see. Where's his entire squad? Oh, here. Okay. Alright. Push the... Push the cap? Are you kidding me? Do you know to how to play this game? Out of lead, please? I'm providing the, the cover fire and you should push up. What's wrong with you? Alright, well. I'm providing already the cover fire, dude. Oh no. Oh, oh that guy was. That guy waited for so long. You know what? Fuck you. Oh no. We won. GG. Oh man. Oh man. Only 17k? We could have done better, but... You see, this is this is the issue. We played... We played the... Uh, what, what is its name? T3485. And we made 3k XP. And because of that... 
because of that we lost out on 3k premium xp if we would have played with the uh m4a2 you see that all right guys if you like the video don't forget that i stream almost every day so if you want you can come over and hang out also don't forget to leave a sub like comment whatever feels good to you see you next time